those vegan guys. I thank you. Hello, my loves, and welcome back to the channel and to another of our epic shopping vlogs. Uh, this time at Asda. If you're new here, hi, I'm Paul. I'm Jason. And together we are those vegan, vegan guys. guys. And uh, yeah, throughout um, Veganuary, January, we are doing a, a, a whole bunch of big shopping vlogs uh, so that if you're uh, an Asda shopper, for example, which is where we are today, we try and show you how you can do your full shop vegan. We just try and show you as much vegan stuff as possible, don't we? We do, we do. And it's fair to say that Asda, like a lot of other places, are releasing and launching a plethora of bits and bobs for Veganuary, is but it, also stretched beyond Veganuary. Is it 112 this year? I believe so. 112 new vegan items this year. So we know that they've got this new, uh, this whole new OMV range. Um, if you are uh, if you want to look back at an old, uh, an older... Um, as the vlog I'm going to link our shopping playlist up here because not too long back we did our uh, is this the best UK supermarket for vegans Tesco one yes to be fair to be fair um, but you'll see in that list if you start from the top and work your way down everything's kind of in chronological order the last uh, vlog that we did in there before this one for example was Sainsbury's and then we did a load of festive stuff. We did. To show all the festive bits. And then before that, you'll see the big shopping vlogs. Um, one of which this is yeah. going to be. As you can probably tell, it's a miserable day. Foul. Um, so we're it's gonna, foul. It is foul. It's foul. That's the word. Uh, we're going to dash <laughs> into uh, Asda. And mm. as Paul said, we'll show you as much as we possibly can in the time that we've got. And of course at the store that we're at, which is Asda Chatterton. Yeah, that's a good point, actually, Jason. We're in the northwest of England, so to be specific, this store is Chatterton. Just in case you live nearby uh, and you want to, you know, visit the store that we actually went to. But hopefully, your Asda has the same things in. We do realise it's very much postcode lottery with, um, with stores and they don't all have the same range in. Mm -hmm. But... This is a reasonably big one, and we hope you've got a reasonably big one near you. So let's show you what they've got for Veganuary and beyond. Well, as we often do, we often start with the kind of ready-to-go range, and they've got a huge new range in here at the moment, which is fantastic. This is the OMV range. Um, so they've got a no chicken Caesar wrap, a no prawn cocktail sandwich, a VLT sandwich, cauliflower ticker and onion bhaji, and a hoisin duckless wrap. Um, they're all 275, but of course part of the meal deal as well. I think. Um, I think we're going to try. We've heard great things about this, so I think we're going to try one of these, possibly for our lunch today, and uh, see what we think. There's also lovely little things like this. Moorish snacks, smoked hummus with tortilla chips, clearly marked vegan. This is always a good stop in um, Asda. It's the meal deal: one pack of noodles, one veg pack, and one sauce for two fifty. Now, a lot of the noodles here are egg noodles, so you've got to watch it. Um, when they when they're vegan, they do clearly say vegan on the front of the packet. So there's rice noodles and there's um, spicy and rich rice noodles. Loads of different lovely veg packs. And most of the sauces here are, again, clearly marked vegan. So, yeah, a rice, a sauce and a vegetables. Yeah. Um, for, curry. For £2.50. Hoisin, sweet yeah. chilli. There's Brilliant. all sorts. Lovely little range there. And of course, as per usual in all supermarkets, fantastic fruit and veg range. Really, really good. You don't need us to show you that. You all know what veg looks like. Onward! 
and Jason is being our model for these particular products. <laughs> um, we we had a packet each of these before Christmas, and they're absolutely lovely. They're down to 170 at the moment. They're clearly marked vegan. It's basically brioche, one with fruit, one with chocolate chips. Absolutely gorgeous, toasted. 170. Bloody bargain barrel. Yeah, get this. Even Warbies are jumping on the bandwagon now. Warburton's Thins. Oh, they're lovely. I know, clearly oh, it's a vegan, I know, gorgeous. which is lovely. £1.5. And don't forget that all the bagels, uh, the New York Bagel Company bagels, you'll be able to say they see they say clearly marked vegan on them. Oh, look, Warbies are really jumping on it. Look at this. Thin bagels, clearly marked vegan. Very good to see. You'll see random things like this can, that can get a bit confusing. See that big V there, but the text underneath says suitable for vegans, and that's the four sliced focaccia. They're beautiful, we've had them before, 165. However, next door, the four Greek style bread, uh, flatbreads only say suitable for vegetarians, but as far as we can see by ingredient, they are vegan. Always check your labels, don't forget. Uh, down here we've got some uh, Ria's garlic and coriander uh, naan breads. They're clearly marked vegan and they are £1.60 and they're bloody lovely, trust me. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're not going to take you through every single item that says vegan, but if you check the items, uh, a lot of them, it's there Jason, whatever it says. Vegetarian. Or vegan by ingredient. See, that's another weird thing. Vegan by ingredient, but only says suitable for vegetarians on the front. Any new people on Veganuary, you'll get used to this in no time at all. Yeah, a lot of most things that are vegan do say vegan. I'm going to take you over here as well because there is also uh, two different plant based cookies 185, four chock chip, and four double chock chip. And more sweet things if you're a sweet person. Uh, two plant-based, two lemon muffins and two chocolate muffins and they're 185 each. I have to talk quite loudly in Asda because they play their music offensively loud. Even though it's great music and if I was just shopping I'd love it, but when you're vlogging, don't help. Uh, in the desserts section... <laughs> which is in, in hours at the end of the bakery. They do have an OMV, deliciously vegan, two golden sponge puddings for £1.75. Clearly marked, vegan. We are wholemeal bread eaters ourselves, uh, uh, but there is wholemeal and brown as well, uh, are clearly marked vegan. Usually the ranges like Warburton's, and uh, so they're great for labelling. However, look here. Clearly marked vegan. Clearly marked vegan, farmhouse white and soft white, toasty thick sliced, and they're both Asda own brand. Um, but many breads, most breads, will clearly tell you on the label if they are vegan or not, or not. And most packaged breads, like this, are always somewhere <laughs> suitable for vegetarians and vegans. You see that there? So just check your breads, but with breads, I mean, obviously if it's got cheese on, it's not vegan. Yeah. But with sliced breads, packaged breads, they are invariably marked suitable for vegans. So make yourself a button, enjoy yourself. Two cracking little cakes here. We've got a vegan vanilla cake from the Just Love Company for £4.50. Lovely. And we've got a vegan chocolate cake, again, from Just Love for £6.50. Looks like that. We've had the chocolate one, lovely. I'm sure this is lovely as well. It's just nice to know that they're there. Mm. We're actually in the meat aisle at the moment, but that's where you're gonna find things like the vegan uh, pucker pies for, um, I think, £1.50, and Asda's own plant-based uh, meat-free steak, uh, steak and gravy pie. Uh, which is £1.80 and there's also they've got like vegan pasties and vegan sausage rolls however empty packets 
Um, apart from the vegan corn pasta, that's there, but the sausage rolls are gone. All gone. Fort Larkham, obviously. Uh, it's all right, let's go with this aisle. I hate it, I hate it here. In the free from fridge, the free from fridge, Barbara, <laughs> uh, there's loads of different um, cheeses. No, we've not seen that one before. Uh, she's Mighty Melt, a red Leicester flavour. Two pound at the moment. Uh, the Applewood Vegan Slices, Violife. They've got the Violife Greek, which is gorgeous. They do, of course, do their own uh, vegan cheeses as well. For example, Garlic and Herb Soft Cheese Spread, 275. Violife Epic Mature, Applewood, uh, their own mature cheddar. They've got the um, Baby Bell, the Plant Based Baby Bell, the Plant Based Bolsin. Uh, and lots of yogurts and things and of course a whole range of uh, plant milks all different prices and they'll also have them on, on the long life shelf as well as in the fridge so yeah definitely work a, worth a look in the uh, free from um, section well in the fridge uh, right opposite where we just were they've got the new cocoa barista milk for £1.20 as a barista I always said barista, that's in court, isn't it? Uh, but they've got a lot of offers, save 70p, save 65p, loads of different kind of milks. And uh, Oatly, Oatly Skinny at the moment for £1.27, semi and whole. 127 not bad at all. In the fridges. We've got a tapas offer on at the moment, any two for 4 50 There's not a huge amount of uh, vegan stuff, but there is, for example, six vegetable tempura nests. Um, where, where else did we see the vegan? Ten falafels on the top shelf. Oh, yeah, and ten falafels on the uh, on the top shelf there. So there's bits that, uh, that do say vegan on them, and they've also rebranded... Now, some people didn't like this, but Jason and I did. They've rebranded the uh, No Egg Mayo that they sell, which is one eighty-five, I think. Um, so, yeah, now it's OMV. You get quite a lot in there, and it's... You know what? It's not bad at all. At least it's clearly marked vegan. And we're in that same section just to show you that um, there's a whole range of hummuses, red pepper, jalapeno, sweet chilli, caramelised onion and masala they're all around a pound or even in some cases 79p and they're all clearly marked vegan uh, they've also if you fancy something a bit fancier um, they've got Leon velvety hummus it's £2.50 but it is lovely with extra virgin olive oil and Sicilian lemon juice no less from Sicily all the way from Sicily oh. fancy a pizza Darren uh, again, we think this has been rebranded. It's the Thin Storm Baked Veggie Feast Pizza. Um, it is clearly marked vegan and it's £2.50. And then in the fridge right next door, four garlic and parsley ciabatta breadsticks, very similar to what um, Sainsbury's do. Clearly marked vegan, £1.90. They go amazingly well with uh, spaghetti bobs and meatballs. Just in case you are extremely local and you come into this exact store, we're in aisle 25. It's where we've just shown you the hummuses and the, um, what's it called? Mix and match what? Something. Uh, so they've got this whole section here. They've got the, um, this is a bacon, the meatless farm chicken breasts, which we had recently and they're gorgeous. Meatless farm mints, quarter pounders, um, they've got the Richmond meat-free sausages, uh, the sage and onion ones, £2.70, and the normal ones, £2.70. This isn't pork sausages, £2.95, chicken pieces, £2.50, bacon, £2. And Asda is one of the only places where you can get the vegan black pudding, which is £1.40. It says vegetarian, but it's vegan by ingredients. In fact, I'll show you that. See how it says vegan approved on it. The Berry Black Pudding Company. 
and we're still in the same aisle, aisle 25, just want to show you this. Again, we're not going to go through everything individually because there's that much stuff. Um, with corn stuff, it does say when it's vegan. It clearly says on the front if it's vegan. Um, so, you know, keep your eye on that. But they've got a whole, uh, whole range of corn. Uh, oh, Garden Gourmet have brought out uh, chicken style breasts as well, Jason. Nice. £2.20. Uh, we've never had a squeaky bean product yet that we didn't like. True. Ever. Uh, their sandwich meats and all their cold bits are just gorgeous. Whole range of tofu. If you're starting with tofu for the first time, I would definitely recommend getting something ready marinated like this. Fry this up, chuck this into a mixed salad. Absolutely gorgeous. You'll see why we love tofu. That's a really good point actually there, just a starting point. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can cut your own up and marinate it yourself and then fry it yourself, but you know, start small, work up from there. Uh, so they've got a whole range of garden gourmet stuff, show you the prices, all kind of a couple of quid or a few quid. Uh, Pucker vegan sausage roll, 275 for one Pucker vegan sausage roll, surely not. That's a bit steep isn't it? Oh no, Pucker vegan roll 125. Oh, thank you, nice one. Um, Lots more stuff from Quorn. Again, it does always say on the packet if it's vegan. And if it doesn't, it's vegetarian. Okay. Oh, they've got the new Quorn. Uh, oh, we haven't tried the roast beef yet, Jason. See how it says vegan there. Do you want to get it? Yeah. With, uh, for a sandwich at some point over the weekend with English mustard. You what? Um got this as well it clearly says plant-based so it's you know it is vegan Thai inspired edamame balls and now their own bacon and they've got all these new um, kind of ready meals so they've got a uh, mac and no cheese um, can't see the price unfortunately I'll have to see if I can find it online yeah I mean some of this stuff is very new isn't it yeah what we've said before about labels, come on supermarkets, if you've, you've got a product on the shelf, you should have a label. They've got a no-beef lasagna, uh, six meat free chorizo sausages, no chicken joint, they must be keeping that in now, which is good, but again, there's no prices for these things. Uh, OMB sweet potato katsu curry, Breakfast, oh, breakfast no sausage patties. Nice. Interesting. Smoky tofu burrito, I think we showed that in the vlog just before Christmas. Um, and spaghetti and veggie balls. Spaghetti and veggie balls. Spaggly bobs and meatballs, just like I was talking about before. <laughs> uh, yeah, they've got a whole range, like a huge range of stuff in here these days, which is really good to see. Does it continue next door, Jay, or is that it? it? Still, massive section. Come and have a look. If you fancy trying the Cathedral City plant-based, it's in Asda, it's in with all the other plant-based uh, stuff. So it's 250 for the grated and 360 for the block. However, that block is inherent at the moment, but it's quite short dated. Um, I think it's like February and it's, so it's not much of a saving I think it's £3.30 so but they do have the Cathedral City kind of cheese that makes your cheeks go funny does with me anyway when it comes to per personal care uh, still one of the best places we've found is Tesco supermarket wise but Superdrug is your best place for personal care products because almost everything is vegan and cruelty free but of course uh, Original source is always marked vegan, always. Um, that's all we use, shower gel wise. Very reasonably priced as well, the original source, like always a good price. Always a good price. So yeah, that's uh, that's all we would. Some things, as Jason just pointed out. Um, yeah, so like the, um, and we've mentioned it in vlogs before, but it's Veganuary and it's 2023. Asda Muscle Ease Bath Soap, clearly marked suitable for vegans somewhere there. It's very small. 
But then next door, you've got some other stuff that sounds to zone that's marked vegetarian. So what? We don't know whether it's got it could be beeswax from the fruit that they're using. It could be a number of things. I but have just noticed as well the palm olive all of a sudden that's got the vegan plant-based sticker on it now. Oh yeah. I can't I that. Which is good to see. Oh, plant-based milk, but it's still got honey in it. That one stolen has, yeah. from the bees, you buggers. But at least they're smart enough to realise that the coconut and milk one can be marked vegan and this one, because it's got honey in, can't be marked vegan. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. Now, apparently, Red Bisto is vegan by ingredient, although it only says suitable for vegetarians. But vegetable gravy granules and onion gravy granules here are both clearly marked vegan and they're only 80p. Uh, and although it's expensive, we've got to sing the praises of um, Bisto Best Onion Gravy. They've just started to label it vegan, but it's always been vegan by ingredient. It's four pound, but oh my God, it's good. It's the best. It is the best, by far. Just a few quick spreads as well. Uh, of course, Flora Buttery isn't vegan because it's got buttermilk in it, but most of the other um, Floras are clearly marked vegan. So the lighter, and I think the original, um, they also sell here, I can't believe it's not butter, 120 for the small one, and 240 for the big one. So they've got the full fat version, uh, and the light version. That's clearly marked vegan on the packet as well. Uh, and they've got a range of flora plant butters for a pound. Uh, the unsalted and the salted, and the spreadable. Good old classic Vitalite, one of the first plant-based spreads out there. Always has been, it's sunflower-based, uh, 225. So yeah, there's quite a lot of uh, spreads that you can uh, have. Yes, is the pastry, Jason? Pastry is clearly marked vegan. Marvellous. £1.25. £1.25 for their own short crust ready-made pastry. And the feeler. Oh, and the feel, or the puff probably is as well. Yeah. You but same with Just Roll. Um, it always says suitable for vegans on the packet. If it is, and indeed, it is. I mean, we don't like the fact that the radio's dead loud in here today, but we've been in here half an hour so far, uh -huh. and we've heard the vegan advert about all their new vegan products. How many times? Three? Three times. Yeah, so good, good on them. Uh, your pastas and your rices um, are, you, you know, unless it's egg pasta and egg, egg fried rice, even packet rices, you can get clearly marked vegan. And if you eat a lot of rice, they've got some really good bargains on the really big packets of rice here. Uh, and, a, you know, a lot of tinned beans and pulses and tomatoes and things. So, yeah. And this is aisle 23, World Foods. We're still in the World Foods aisle here, but just wanted to show you that you get... I mean, look at this. Two kilograms of brown lentils for £2.50. I mean, that's, that's like really, really good. If you've never seen our um, gardener's pie recipe, uh, in which I use brown lentils instead of soya mints, however, you could use soya mints with it. I'll link it up there now. But they've got green lentils, brown lentils, chickpeas, mung dal, tour dal, loads and loads of things. And these fantastic... Um, spice packs for a pound so you can just get the spice pack and fill up your little glass bottle uh, at home the tax have these lovely meal kits out they've got the mild and aromatic biryani meal kit 145 half price in here at the moment uh, the korma spiced dal kit which we recently had with sweet potatoes and spinach for 145 but you can get it for a pound in heron if you live near one just for record um, and they're also doing these, um, oh, are, are these plant-based, Jason, or are they not? Just have a quick check. Yeah, I, d I don't know if they are. They do do kits like that, that say plant-based, but I don't know if they are. Vegetarian, not vegan. Right, so stick with them. Stick with them, loves.
Quite a few of the microwavable packet rices in uh, Asda are clearly marked vegan, such as this one. Pilau micro rice says right there on the front, vegan. Serves two, two, two minutes in the microwave. 38p. 38p. Now, not all of them are marked suitable for vegans. Some of them are clearly not like. The basmati, for some reason, isn't marked vegan. But... The Peri Peri is marked vegan, the, I believe the Biryani is marked vegan, these ones are 75p, uh, sweet and sour, the chip shop curry, and is the golden veg, nope the golden veg one isn't, so uh, some of them are clearly marked vegan on the front, some of them aren't, but the prices are great. Jay's just been having a look at these ones. Yeah, I mean, again, the stuff's clearly marked when it is, so these are quite interesting. The delicious lentil micrograins, they're both a pound and both clearly marked vegan. Ah, they brought them out to compete with Merchant Gourmet, yeah. aren't they? Barbecue beans and lentils, micrograins. And most, most of the Tilda range is marked suitable for vegetarians and vegans, except obviously egg fry. Yeah, ones. yeah. Um, really good. And the Tilda ones are lovely. We'll try one each of them, Jason. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. For those nights when we can't, uh, when I just want to chuck things in microwave and air fryer, which is quite often, truth be known. <laughs> <laughs> if you fancy building your own pizza, um, you can do here, because they do have, as you can see there, vegan cheese and a whole range of vegetables. So you can build yourself a vegan pizza, should you fancy. Uh, like most supermarkets now, you can get a whole range of cereals. It, this is the free from aisle. Uh, I guess you guessed that because of the huge words free from on the boxes <laughs> I'm showing you at the moment. Uh, but you can get special flakes, 150, corn flakes, 140. Uh, you can get rice snaps, chocolate stars, maple sunrise. Um, are they just flakes? They are, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. Oh, ancient grains. We love an ancient grain, me and Jason. Uh, Mess of surprise. Uh, things like porridge, you're free from porridge oats, obviously, clearly marked vegan. The choco snaps, I've had them, they're not that great. They're not that great, that's my personal opinion. Okay. The free from rainbow hoops, they look pretty cool. They're clearly marked vegan and they're £1.50. And the uh, rice pops here, clearly marked vegan, £2.30. And but the box next to it isn't, which is weird, but because they look exactly the same thing, unless that's new labelling. Maybe. Yeah. And then the, uh, the cornflakes on the end there are also clearly marked vegan at £2.40. But they've got well, we've cheaper cornflakes, haven't they? Didn't we see cheaper ones a minute ago? I can't see them. Oh, heck. See, I was right. £1.40. Ah, nice <laughs> Again, we're still in the uh, free from aisle here, and there's uh, a lot of um, a lot of things. That Jay just said, for example, all of these um, millionaire shortcake, caramel rice squares, chocolate rocky road. They, are these all marked vegan? All marked yeah, vegan, all yeah. marked vegan. As well as uh, and the free from chocolate, which is this one is choc crispy. And this one is choc orange. And the uh, cranberry and orange, clearly marked vegan. The uh, cookies, auto cookies. Cool. £1.20. And the shortbread also, £1.70, clearly marked vegan. And the bourbon biscuits, vegan, uh, £1.30. Well, we're going to get to biscuits, actually, because Asda usually label theirs really, really well, don't they? Yes. <clears throat> and on this same aisle, you've got things like the Alpro Single Cream for a pound. Alpro Custard 115, whole range of Alpro desserts, they're all uh, vegan. And um, flowers, you know, for you that are gluten intolerant, uh, different flowers and stuff. But you'll know about this aisle anyway, you lot. Lots of crisps, the eat, re eat real and stuff. Um, <clears throat> This is what we, when we talk about nooch, nutritional yeast, that's the stuff. Sprinkle that on steamed vegetables or you can make a cheese sauce with it. Fabulous stuff. Um, it's a great aisle. Do you remember when I said about uh, cheaper mayonnaise and um, salad cream? Yes. Here in the free from aisle. Both clearly marked vegan. 85p for the mayo and £1.10 for the salad cream. 
Uh, we're still on, we're on aisle 21, the free from aisle, but they've got this lovely little plant-based and vegan bit here. Um, so they've got, I mean, these are a bit expensive. They're basically Monster Munch, aren't they? But they're 125 a pack, which is it's just a bit too much, really. And that's reduced. Uh, what are them, Jess? Oh, porridge pots. Porridge pots. Plant-based yeah. porridge pots, nutty and seedy, and berry burst for 85p. They've got the Galaxy Vegan Hot Chocolate. Uh, the Vigo Chocolate Bar. If you like nuts, hazelnuts and chocolate, please trust us when we say try this bar. It's incredible. Really good. Uh, they've got the Pip and Nut stuff all for a pound. They've even got the Vegan Kit Kat. Not seen one of them for a while. Where? For a pound. Oh, yeah. Right there. Vegan Kit Kat. Uh, they've got Crimble's Vegan Chop Macaroons. They're on offer for a pound at the moment. Plant-based chocolate brownies, two quid. Plant-based pancake shaker. Now, apparently, this works for Yorkshire pudding. You make it up and you add a bit of baking powder. And a lady that just walked past said, and if you're going to do that, have your oven really hot and then it works. So, your call, pound. We've got one right there to try um, more vegan mayo vegan salad cream OMV burger mayo £1.50 uh, the meat free chicken stock cubes one ninety. they're fantastic oh is this vegan new meat free best or best I mean it's on the can you just check the label Jay, for yeah, yeah. that Bosch ultimate cheese sauce 225 Bosch Nooch 250 and then we've got the Sackler vegan carbonara vegan white sauce and bolognese sauce OM they're all 285 OMV do a grilled red pesto red pepper pesto and a roasted tomato roasted garlic and balsamic pasta sauce for two pound Prince's plant based um, bean chili and vegetable curry are a pound at the moment. Mock duck, tuna, banana blossom. Oh, and even a pumpkin seed and chili pesto. This is um, clearly marked vegan. Oh, and brilliant. Also says Bisto Best Vegan Beef Flavour Gravy Granules. So it's in the description and it's also labelled vegan. Right, and that's £3.20 if you fancy a beefy uh, gravy. And what's this here? Riced cauliflower for a pound and plant based soya mince. Is this oh, it's a dry pack, yeah, for one pound 20 from Asda Zone. It's a good, really good bear. This to be fair, yeah. Are we only complained about Asda because when they, they hyped their new bear, was it last year? I think they hyped it and said it was getting this major thing, and then we came in it one little bear, like yeah. This. But to be fair, this is decent, no, it's good, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Do not avoid the free from aisles, guys. They are an absolute gold mine of stuff. And uh, we shall go onward. Not a lot of the crisps and snacks, unfortunately, are uh, labelled as vegan. However, most Seabrooks flavours, other than the cheese and onion, are uh, clearly marked to both for vegetarians and vegans, so worth having a look at. And uh, they've also got stuff like these, the Harvest Snack which are clearly a plant-based snack clearly marked vegan and gluten-free and a pound for six packs of Thai sweet chilli flavour they also have a load of plant-based milks on the um, on the uh, long life aisle sorry I'm going to keep talking really fast because yet again the nightclub music in here is ridiculous Asda, sort it out will you uh, but they even do their own little range of, for £1.70, chocolate flavoured oat milk individuals, strawberry flavoured soya milk. That's for six um, as well. And they've got a whole range of long life plant milks, including their own unsweetened soya drink down there for £1.15. Sorry, my mistake there. It's this Asda Soya Sweet and Silky and Smooth. Vegan, but it's got calcium, vitamin B2, vitamin D2, vitamin B12, and iodine in it. That one is £1.15. Uh, it turns out the unsweetened soya drink, Just Essentials, is uh, 55p. 
So yeah, there's that. Spotted vegan lemon shortbread cookies for £1.50. But if you didn't know, Lotus Biscoff Original Biscuits 170 are vegan uh, by ingredients, as are Jammy Dodgers, chocolate dam Jammy Dodgers. Um, yeah, and now we'll show you some of Asda's own range of biscuits. Asda, for some reason, are better than more supermarkets when it comes to uh, labelling their own biscuits. So their own rich tea, their own digestives, and their own ginger nuts. And their own ginger nuts are all clearly marked uh, vegan. And I think the bourbons were, but they don't seem to have any in at the moment. Uh, but check that because that might have changed. Last time I saw them in here, they were um, clearly marked vegan. Right, onward. So, in the freezer section, um, I mean, it's like, if you look where the free from stuff is, you'll, f you'll find bits, for example, spicy bean bakes are clearly marked vegan, and they're £2.5, but they're mixed in with non-vegan stuff in the free from bit. And then you move a bit further down, you've got things like Clive's tomato and olive tart, £2.25, Clive's mushroom and leek pie, two twenty-five. Uh, go to ooh, gluten-free cauliflower knocky. Interesting. I know that sounds nice. Actually, two seventy-five. Um, Kirsty's Chinese-style vegetables, two pound eighty. Clearly marked vegan. Lots of Kirsty stuff uh, is clearly marked vegan, but some of it isn't. So do watch out for that. And then we move over to uh, Dopsu, no beef balls and no beef mints. Uh, some of the corn stuff is still unfortunately vegetarian and contains egg. But some of it is clearly marked vegan. When it is clearly marked vegan it says on the front clearly marked vegan. We've got VFC in for £3 at the moment. However, got to be said, that's on offer in Sainsbury's for £2. Uh, as this video goes up, might not be for long. Ump Spicy Drums, 3 50 A whole range of green cuisine stuff. Uh, the only green cuisine products that we know of that isn't vegan are those veggie quarter pounders. Um, everything else clearly says vegan on the front and we've never had a green cuisine product yet we didn't like. True. They're all pretty good. Um, and then next door we've got all of these cauliflower hash browns, spinach bites and things. Uh, don't think that's vegan because it says veggies, sweet potato, lasagna. Yeah. Could you look, Jason? It perhaps? says vegetarian. Oh, right, it's just veggie. Yeah. All right, sack that one off. Uh, plant based veggie fingers, meat free sausages, £2 each, veggie burgers, and spicy bean burgers. This is all new, this kind of plant based by Asda. Uh, nice packaging, I like it actually yeah um, and it clearly says of course when it's vegan um, look at this at the moment one pound 31 veggie tikka masala and rice it's a bit of a bargain isn't it that is a bargain and then they've got oh, yeah. the new omv uh fishless fillets 225 no chicken kievs two pound meat free sausage rolls 150 and roasted veg and hummus pizza, beautiful, £2. And look at this One Planet pizza, spicy pepperoni, clearly marked vegan, three seventy five, but worth every penny. Um, we can vouch for them, can't we? Yeah, they actually sent us some. If we can find the taste test, I'll link it up above. But yeah, a really good range of uh, frozen stuff. Sausages, burgers, dippers, fish alternatives, all sorts. It's always worth mentioning that some of the stuff you might already know and love, for example, Bird's Eye Original Potato Waffles, uh, are clearly marked, suitable for vegans, and pretty much always have been. Uh, 
they, they, they've always been vegan they haven't always been marked as such 235 for 10 of them not everything vegan is with the vegan stuff of course I mean you can for example uh, they say very clearly teriyaki chicken vegan gyoza there's only 12 in the pack and 395 but they are delicious uh, we've had them before our Jason's already tried these on um, taste tests at work the new Heinz beans bowls are 250 it's basically a ready meal so you've got the fragrant coconut beans bowl and the smoky chilli beans bowl both 250 and both TBG approved clearly marked vegan Heinz seems to be really uh, whacking it out of the whacking it out at the moment. Well, sounds wrong, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, they've also got this gel freezer curry beans bowl, clearly marked vegan. Again, two fifty. Korma curry beans bowl, two fifty. They've got the beans burger Texan style, which clearly marked vegan, and uh, the original are clearly marked vegan. Some of them. For example, the Italian style are only marked vegetarian, so avoid them. Um, but there's quite a lot of stuff that they're doing at the moment, clearly marked vegan. And a really good price for 2 50 for a ready meal. Go on, Heinz, go on! Oh, and in just in case you didn't know, they also have now vegan beans and sausages in the supermarket. And plant-based creamy tomato soup. 170 and 2 quid respectively but they're not in here Sainsbury's and Ocado so far if you have a sweet tooth we're not going to let you down look at this As the Vegan Moments 3 Choc Classic Lollies uh, Silky Salted Caramel they're 160 for 3 and then you've got the Vegan uh, Magnums the Classic and the Almond they're £3 You've got a vegan chocolate tart at four pound. Extra special, don't you know? Extra special, and there's a whole range of ice creams as well. Ben and Jerry's, clearly marked vegan. But the classic for us: Swedish glacé, vanilla, chocolate. They do a raspberry. <coughs> excuse, excuse. Me. <coughs> Cut that cough out, Jay. They do a raspberry as well, but not in all supermarkets. But here they do have the heavenly chocolate and the smooth vanilla at £3 a tub. Hey, it says great offers, guys, and they're not lying. We think this might be because they're uh, changing the packaging. Jay just spotted these. Eight plant-based fishless fingers, 50p. We've got to get a couple of them, Jason, for the freezer, yeah. haven't we? Um, two mushroom and caramelised caramelised onion burgers clearly marked vegan from Bird's Eye Green Cuisine 37p and you don't have to only have festive stuff in the festive season look at this 82p nut roast with pomegranate and pork glaze for a nice Sunday lunch clearly marked vegan so yeah they're obviously getting rid of um, this stuff and uh, it's Fill your freezer while they're on these bargains. Pence, Barbara. Pence. Did you spot some over here, Jeff? Oh, shelf fear the uh, the tofu stuff. Oh, the straight to wok. Uh, ginger and chili, two yeah. pound, and the original bites and the crispy bites, two pound each as well. Spicy. Yeah. Awesome. Nice. We usually show a selection of wines and we've we've called out Asda before but then people have said to us Asda do label their wines so I'd like to challenge one of those people to come shopping with me one day and show me all the wines in Asda that are labelled vegan because I can find two, two red ones one of them is labelled on the top of the bottle um, which is there and that's a £7 Malbec and one of them is labelled on the back of the bottle um, but other than that they're the only ones we can find so Sainsbury's, Tesco and Aldi all label their wines so much better than Asda do and I think we'll leave the wine section right there so these are the only little bits we're buying um, and I'll tell you how much that's basically a meal deal there some briochettes, gravy, corn roast beef 
pancake shaker, two packets of uh, beans, lentils, two frozen fish fingers for 50p, and some uh, vegan macaroons. And we'll tell you how much that little lot is when we're back in the car. £19.30. And look, there's me. Well, we hope you enjoyed that little jaunt around uh, Asda with us. I'm sure they did a plant-based tuna and sweet corn sandwich spread as well as the egg mayonnaise yeah. one, but we didn't see that. But that doesn't mean they're not doing it anymore. It, there was a lot of empty spaces there was. today, which is a really good thing. Uh, first time we've been approached by security in a long time. First time in Asda as well. Yeah, however, he was very pleasant. He was just like... What you guys are up to because you're leaving the freezer doors open for a long time and you know people are looking like what they're doing in my head that's when he said that in my head i was like yeah mate we're very aware of our carbon footprint thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> uh so yeah we've tried to show you as much uh, as we could from the uh from the asda range but of course it's going to be a lot more still a challenge anyone who's ever told me that asda labels their wine well to come shopping with me and prove that to me yeah. uh, because i'm a bit of a professional shopper these days and they really don't consistently uh with asda uh, it's been their downfall what we were just saying on the way out as well and um, for established vegans and all you wonderful folk who've been subscribed to us for a while and the new people who are doing veganuary right now in 2023 um they're not perfect no they're getting better the labeling's getting better um, and as I think I said in store in there, um, if the, if you are new to all of this and you're finding it a bit a bit much, bit daunting, it trust us, it gets easier. It, it does. really does. It gets better. That's <laughs> one of his songs. <laughs> it gets, in fact, there's another thing we'll link. Uh, Jason um, has performed a fantastic uh, single called "Choices" that we wrote together. Yes. Um, and uh, it's being sold on Bandcamp at the moment for a pound. And half of that is going to uh, Farm Animal Rescue Sanctuary. Yes. Um, so it would be lovely to, uh, for you to listen, give us a quid, and feed some animals and get him some time in studio to record things properly. Yeah. Yeah, because it was a home recording uh, in our living room. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, thank you to, while you were on that subject... Thanks to all of those who have already listened to the song, watched the video on our YouTube channel and downloaded it and paid for it. We've already been able to give £100 to Farm Animal Rescue Sanctuary, which is lovely. Yeah. So, yeah, we hope you've enjoyed that. As, we've, as we always say, there, there is much more in every supermarket than we have the time to show you. The, our aim with these uh, vlogs is to show you and in particular people new to veganism, that there's a lot more than you might think initially available. Yeah, and picking up on what Paul just said as well, the other part, of course, is the bits that we don't show you, that's the adventure. That's the exciting bit of finding something that we've not shown you, and you come across it on the shelf and you're like, hey, I'm a vegan now. I've found something vegan that nobody else knows about. And maybe you'll <laughs> share it with us or with the rest of this awesome community that's grown up around the channel. If you're looking for further help, um, the, the uh, I believe I mentioned at the start of the vlog, uh, our group on Facebook, that vegan group, it's always linked in the description of every video below. So uh, do please uh, check that out. And if you're on Facebook, come along and join uh, and uh, get some help on your journey because it's just full of lovely people who are not going to judge you for eating meat alternatives and not going to judge you if you're not quite there yet as long as you're on the way. Yeah, that's what matters. Don't forget, this is all about the animals, the, the, well, and the planet, but the animals, the animals, the animals, the animals. Isn't it? I 100% agree with everything he's just said, surprisingly not. <laughs> so we're going to go home and try that prawn sandwich now, but I've already heard that it's quite realistic, and I'm like, well, okay, as long as it's plant-based, I'm fine with that. Thanks. Yeah. We were having that um, conversation just the other day, weren't we, is how realistic do you make something for a vegan? In fact, Jay's going to put a note here now to tell you what we thought of the sandwich, because I'll be editing this this afternoon. Um I love you, mister. Love you. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. We will see you again very, very soon, we hope. And until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Bye, loves. <laughs>